Bueno CS YouTube. Grand Rise. I'm out here watching the day begin. It's currently like a little after 5 a.m., maybe like 5 10 a.m. Here in Costa Rica. You can hear the birdies. I'm in my other hammock because I got two. <laughs> um, my nails are dirty, don't mind that. <clears throat> I freshly woke up. Oh, I see the crescent moon in the sky. Let me see if I can show you. You can kind of barely see it on the video. In person, you can really see it. Smiling at me. Hey, girl. <laughs> wow, y'all. I decided um, to start a new series here on my YouTube uh, called Dreaming with Deja because I have super potent lucid dreams on a regular basis. And I just really want to share some of those dreams with y'all. I love logging my dreams. Usually I do it in my voice notes or I just tell people. But now I'm going to start doing video series when I have really interesting dreams to share here on YouTube. I want to start by saying I am so grateful for all the support and love I'm receiving from this channel. Like everyone who has done a private retreat with me, has found me through YouTube. And I was thinking people were finding me on Instagram, but no, they're finding me through this channel. This channel has brought me so much abundance and friendship and connection and joy. And I don't even make money on YouTube yet. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> uh, but it's already bringing me that abundance. And so I'm super grateful. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for caring about what I have to say. And I'm grateful that people who are you know resonant with my energy are finding me here and yeah gaining some type of value uh so yes my dreams last night there are um two parts of the dream that i remember yes two basically like sections that i remember uh the first one was super fun i just had a lot of fun in my dream last night I want to say that last night was all about inner child healing for myself. Um, so <laughs> the first dream, the setup was that I was with this group of people and it felt like we were young. It felt like we were maybe teenagers and we had um, been accepted or won this opportunity to do some type of uh, program camp type of situation. Um, I don't know what exactly it was for or about, but our prize, not even our prize, but like a part of it, like we were all going to like be in this program or this camp or whatever it was. And um, they surprised us <laughs> when we got there to where we all got to sit on like, I don't even remember what they were. It was kind of like this circular chair, like a throne type thing we each sat on one and it was moving us around this store so we got in the store and it was like a st the front was like all books and i remember seeing children's books in particular i was interested in and then you get in the back and there's like incense and crystals and all the kinds of stuff that i like to buy basically or i like to have um was in the store so we got in there and they basically were like we got to sit on our things and then the thing was just pulling us around the store but really quickly so we were allowed to grab and get whatever we wanted and keep it for free but it was taking us through there really quick so it was like pulling us through the book section so you don't have that much time to look and then it was pulling us through like i remember the incense section i was trying to grab some incense but then the thing moved too fast and i grabbed some crystals and um yeah it was just a lot of fun i remember laughing and smiling and being like ah this is too fast this is too fast um and then again, I be kind of lucid dreaming. So sometimes I can kind of make things happen consciously in my dreams. So in the end, I was like, oh, I need more time. So I consciously like said, oh, they're going to give us more time. They're going to give us like 10 minutes to look around the store and get stuff without being on these like moving chairs. So yeah, the end, they let us go out. And I remember I was looking at this children's book. While I had the dream, I remembered the name of it, but I don't anymore. But the children's books were so vivid with all these beautiful titles and pictures on them. And I didn't even actually have that realization till now that like this was really about my inner child. Getting a chance to just do what she loves. And 
yeah, so it was really fun. Like we were getting pulled all around the store and yeah, we got to have whatever we wanted for free. And the next dream I had was so long and like potent. Um, it kind of felt like I was in a high school or college class. Cause it, yeah, it kind of felt like I was in a college class cause it was tons of us in this big room. And we had this teacher, but she had these fun activities plans. Like basically, um, honestly, I can't remember all of it. There was so much happening in the beginning. But basically she had us moving around this big ass space. Like it was the biggest room I've ever seen. Um, and it was lots of people in there. Some of them were like random people who I know, not like, I guess there were some people who I actually know, like or who I've met along my journey and some people who look like people who I know. And then like there was randomly like this drag queen, Gottmik, who I just was watching on RuPaul's Drag Race <laughs> was in there and that's so funny. But anyways, um, oh yeah, and this one girl who I recently met here in Costa Rica was in it. So there were like some people that I knew. Even the teacher kind of looks like a teacher that I once had um, in college. So yeah, we were moving around this room and we were um, given topics to go and talk to people about. So we would get a partner and we would discuss a topic. So throughout the dream, I was like connecting with all these different people um, who I guess are really just other parts of my subconscious mind. So I was Deja in the dream and we I was talking about my real life and they were talking about their real life. I was talking about being from Georgia and I was talking about being a vegan and all these things and they were talking to me about their lives and there was so much laughter. Like I remember a lot of funny stuff happening. I can't remember now like exactly what was said, but I was laughing so hard. Like I was laughing, smiling. People were joking around. People were really excited um, and having, everyone was having a lot of fun. I was like, this is dope teacher. Like I really love this activity. This, And even within the dream when we were doing that activity, I was like, well, I actually already do this with, um, I did a group inner child healing se session and I did this activity. Like I gave them topics and everybody partnered up. It just wasn't on this big scale. But I was saying in the dream, like I should do this from inner child healing sessions, like do a really big ass inner child healing um, thing because it was really activating because it was just about really just connecting, kind of like authentic relating practice. If y'all know what that is, definitely look it up. Authentic relating is super interesting and dope. And dope. But yeah, we were just moving around, talking to people, having so much fun, laughing, joking. When I saw Got Make the Drag Queen, like, um they were wearing like this mask that had a smiley face on it like one that like was like a sock mask that went right over their face and had their feet up and someone was like massaging their feet and they were just relaxing and i was like taking a picture like this is hilarious like just a lot of smiling and laughter and um at one point this girl that i recently met um here in costa rica uh she i was sitting at a table at this point talking to people and she came up with some um with a plate of like different types of pastries like cookies and cupcakes and stuff and i was like oh they look so good and one looked really good but somebody else grabbed it before me so i got the other one and it was kind of falling apart but it still looks good and in my mind in the dream i was like damn is this vegan um but i was like she knows i'm vegan she won't feed me nothing that's not <laughs> so i ate that and it was good it's always cool when i can eat in my dreams and i can taste the food um, which happens not all the time, but pretty often where I can taste the food. Hey, chickens. The chickens are doing their rising. Um, like looking for how, graves, they're rising graves. Looking for little bugs and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I remember there was a part very vivid where I stopped and I talked to this one girl and she really looked familiar and I was telling her like you look so familiar to me you look like somebody who I used to know you know in this life um but she didn't know me she was from a different place she told me the name of where she was from and I had never heard of it uh it was like some random ass words to me um but yeah I remember during that part like then other people came to talk to her so I went to talk to somebody else but then people came to talk to them so then that's when I started to be like okay like now I'm not having as much fun anymore because I wasn't feeling as heard or like people really wanted to talk to me. Like I was feeling like other people had deeper connections, like they knew each other, whereas I was meeting people. So I had a moment in the dream where I started to feel a little distant and I started to walk away. Um, and I went outside and um, 
Yeah, and then this weird thing happened when I went outside that I want to share because I've had this happen to me once before in a dream. It's like being in a dream and having cotton mouth, but legit cotton mouth, like pulling cotton out of my mouth to a point where I can't talk. And it's like this dense cotton that's been wetened by saliva. And I'm just like pulling it out of my mouth and uh, pulling it off of the inside of my cheeks and like just ripping it out and throwing it out. And then more, there's always more. Even when I get a big piece out, then there's more. And it's so weird. And I had it happen in the dream like a couple weeks ago. And last night that was happening. And like, I saw someone, I went outside, someone was riding by on their bicycle, like, hey, Deja. But I was running from them because I didn't want them to see that I had this cotton coming out of my mouth. And yeah, then, then I woke up because I was in, the last thing I saw was me pulling this cotton out of my mouth. So I don't necessarily know what that means yet, but I've had it happen in a dream once before. As soon as I woke up, I drank water and I tried to return to the dream. I was like, okay, let me hydrate in this life. Maybe this is just telling me I'm really dehydrated. And I woke up, my mouth was super dry. So I drank some water that I had by my bed, some lemon water, but I couldn't quite get back to the dream. Like I, I was imagining what would happen in the dream, but I was like, okay, let it go. You know, let it go. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a lot of, fun in my dream I woke up feeling so good and the first thing I said when I woke up today was thank you thank you for this power of being a dreamer I love dreaming it's so much fun um and I really just enjoy the play of it the unexpectedness and even when crazy stuff happens in my dreams it's just funny <laughs> and interesting and kind of amazing to just see where my mind, what my mind creates. And yeah, it's just like storytelling. My subconscious mind is storytelling and these are the stories that it tells. And sometimes they're great stories and sometimes they're weird as fuck. Sometimes they're scary, but I would love to share all of that with you. Um, so stay tuned for the next episode of Dreaming with Deja. And I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Oh, before I go, since y'all are watching these videos, please follow my Instagram. I hope you find Serenity. Also, check out my website. I hope you find serenity.com. I'm currently raising money to complete my land payment and get started with some building on the land. And we kind of hit like a, a wall as far as receiving donations. Like I haven't really, re I've only received four donations in the past month. Um, and the intention is to be getting around 40 to 50 donations per month of between $10 and there's no limit. You can send a thousand dollars if you got it. <laughs> the most people have ever sent has been 500 though. So between 10 and $500 people are able to have been able to donate. And I just wanna see more people um, helping out because it really makes a huge difference when Hundreds of people send just a little amount. I donate all the time. I don't just ask for money. I also give and I share. And it's all about balance, you know? Because I know it makes a difference when I give somebody $20 and so do 30 other people. So same way, like if I can get 100 people watching a YouTube video, if all of those people gave me just $1, that's $100 right there that goes towards the land. And yeah, I'm going to be creating a sanctuary. Everything is gonna, unf I, I, I've been of course sharing what my intentions are with the land, but of course things change and unfold differently. Um, I definitely wanna hold space in the land for retreats and ceremonies, but I also think that I'll be open to having it as a haven and safe space for people who are transitioning to Costa Rica. Um, but yeah, more, more to come about what it's going to be. <laughs> but it's gonna be a safe space. It's going to be where I, plan to give birth to my children and maybe where other mothers might want to give birth as well because it's nestled in this beautiful spot in the jungle and um, it's on the top of a hill and there's a river and there's plantains and bananas and turmeric and ginger growing and lemons growing already and cacao growing already and I'm planning to grow a lot more food and just be able to feed myself and my community and stop buying so much produce when we know we can produce that so that's the intention right now for what the space is gonna be. So if you have uh, $10 that you can send my way, it would be so appreciated. The fundraiser is called The Power of 400. So there's a tab on my website, um, The Power of 400. 
and there you can read more and you can click the donate donation link so thank you so much love y'all Peace, family. Thank you so much for watching this video and hanging on to the end. As a bonus for those of you who are still watching, this is how you open a coconut with a rock. Watch as I open this baby and enjoy. First thing in the rising fresh coconut water. So, so good. <laughs>